Subhanahu wa ta'ala says thereafter regarding acts of worship. It's important for us to worship Allah. One might say, what is this salah? The five daily prayers, why? One might say the charities, the alms to the poor, the zakah. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse number 43, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَارْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ Establish your prayer. Fulfill your zakah or the charities to the poor. And bow with those who are bowing. Do you know why? Look what it will do for you. We're only going to mention one or two things. If you pray five times a day, you are showing gratitude to Allah. At the same time, your day is tailor-made. Everything is in order. Get up early, you sleep early, and at the same time, in the middle of the day, you have a prayer, you are thanking Allah, you have a beautiful time through the day. Everything is in order. You are relating the fact that Allah has bestowed upon you so many things to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah gave me the morning. What do I do? So when Dhuhr strikes, I read Salat al Dhuhr to thank Allah for what He just gave me. When Asr strikes, I thank Allah for what he's just given me. And because our entire life is connected to earning in most cases, Allah says, don't forget to give the alms to the poor so that your heart is not stuck to materialism. Imagine if we didn't have to give charities. Why did Allah make some of us poor, some of us rich, some of us filthy rich and some of us extremely poor in order to test us to see whose heart is stuck to wealth? Entry into paradise will never be connected to how much you have. It will be connected to what you did with whatever you had. Remember this. Entry into paradise is connected to what you did with whatever you had. There are people who are filthy rich. Who knows? They may not go to Jannah. And there are some filthy rich. They will use their wealth to go to Jannah by spending it in the right course. And there are some who are very poor. If that makes them disbelieve, they question Allah. Some say, I've been calling out to Allah for years on end. He doesn't respond. I don't want to call out to him again. Guess what? The tunnel was almost complete and you pulled out. So you lost. It's like you almost had a job and suddenly you stopped trying. Had you gone the one more day, you would have perhaps got that job. But you know what? You didn't go. You lost hope in Allah. Allah knows when it's the right time for you to get what He wants to give you. Allah knows that. So my brothers and sisters, let's not fool anyone. We will be only fooling ourselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, establish your prayer. Give alms to the poor. Don't be attached to this world. Do you know the general percentage of zakah, the normal percentage of zakah for the general wealth that we have, two and a half percent, which means for every one hundred dollars, two and a half dollars are for Allah, not actually for you. So Allah says, when you have a hundred dollars in your pocket, it's actually 97.5. The change is mine. Give it to me. So when you give it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are fulfilling your duty unto Allah. If you don't, you have robbed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thereafter, over and above that, you give extra voluntary charities from your own heart. The zakah is necessary. That's from Allah. It always belonged to Allah. It's not yours. It's like something costed 97 and a half uh, rands, for example, and you have to give the person two and a half rands change. You have to. You can't just say, by the way, it's a hundred. It's okay. Go away. They want that change. Subhanallah. Allah wants that two and a half. So when you give it, you've just fulfilled your duty. Yes, you will be rewarded for fulfilling your duty. But if you want an extra reward, you will need to give much more than just that zakah. Subhanallah. So my brothers and sisters, let's learn to be charitable. Let's learn to give a lot. Let's learn to give. Because giving will indeed save us from hellfire. The hadith speaks about bala. You know what is bala? Bala means calamity or tests that Allah puts in your path. It says, as bala, which means charities will actually extinguish the tests that are coming in your direction. If you were supposed to have a massive test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an accident whereby your bones would be broken, perhaps due to a charity that you have given, 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would then make you go through the test in a lighter way where the accident happened and you just bumped your head on the side. What happened? The charity extinguished the magnitude of that bala. This was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is part and parcel of taqdeer. It does not negate predestiny because Allah already knew that the charity was going to come through.